The next video goes with different parts in chapter four. It has to do with congruent parts of congruent triangles. You know, if we remember that the definition for two triangles to be congruent is that corresponding parts are congruent, corresponding sides, corresponding angles, they're all congruent, it turns out we can use that fact to actually extract information, whether it's real life questions or geometry questions. Let's take a look. So here is an interesting scenario. Here we have Mantis House and someone that lives sort of across the way from this fence. And this fence sort of goes on almost forever. So, so there's no way of crossing. And well, here's what Amanda wants to know. She wants to know the distance between her front door, which is right here, and her neighbor's front door, which is right here. So she wants to find the length of the line segment MN. That is what she wants to figure out. But she can't just measure it, because if she tries to measure it, she hits the fence, and she can't cross it to get to the other side. All right, so here's what she does, because she's really clever. So she locates points P, Q, and R. She does. <clears throat> she maps out this point P, this point Q, and she maps it out. This is 20 feet, and this is 20 feet. And she can measure that. There's no barrier there. She can take a, a measurement there. And then she puts this out here, R. And now the question is, can we find, or can man define, the length of this segment MN without ever jumping over this really, really tall fence, which we know to be impossible? The really cool answer is yes, and geometry holds the key to unlock this challenge. Because look, check it out. What I see here is that this is a perfect right angle by how she constructed this, this side. So that is a 90 degree angle. This is 20 feet. This is 20 feet. And this, by the way she constructed this side, forms a 90 degree angle. So look what we have here. We have that these angles, these corresponding angles are congruent. We know that these corresponding sides are congruent. And what about these angles right here? Well, they are vertical angles. And we know that vertical angles are congruent. So I have two triangles, and what do I notice? I have angle, side, angle, congruent in both. That means the triangles are congruent. That means the corresponding parts are congruent. And what's the part that corresponds to this side? Well, it's this side. So all Manda has to do now is measure this length, which she can easily do since there's no barriers, and that will allow her to know the exact length of this. Isn't that cool how using abstract geometry allows us to actually do a real-world question? You can actually imagine this happening in your own backyard. Have fun.